Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the manager of public programs at the Schuylkill Center for Environmental Education. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use acorns and paint to create some cool looking greeting cards that you can use for special occasions. I'll also show you how to use the same technique to create a pennant banner that would look something like this. Alright, so let's head on inside to get started. Okay, now, now let's talk about the materials that you'll need to complete this craft. So first you'll want either a box top or a rubber made. I didn't have a box top laying around, so this rubber made will work just fine. Just know that if you do use a rubber made, you'll just have to wipe it down at the end because it will get a little messy. Then you'll want some paint. Any type of paint will work. I have acrylic paint here. I just recommend using three colors that are different enough from one another. So I have purple, orange, and green. Then you'll want some scotch tape, some cardstock or construction paper, whatever you have laying around, some crayons to write your message inside the greeting card when we're all finished, and then you'll need your acorns. So I have a little more than five acorns here. You might be wondering how to find acorns outside. Well, acorns come from oak trees, and oak trees that have leaves that look a little bit like this here. Different oaks have different variations of this leaf, but they tend to have these deep lobes. So if you tr see a tree with leaves like this, if you look around the base of it, chances are you'll find some acorns. If you don't have an oak tree though, really any type of tree with round seeds will work. These are some sweet gum balls here from a sweet gum tree, and those will work as well. Okay, now that we know all the materials that we need, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is tape the front of your card to the back of your card, just using a few pieces of scotch tape. And this is because we're going to marble paint the top, but we don't want any of that paint to get on the inside, which is where our message will be. Then I'm just going to roll up a little ball of tape, stick that into my Rubbermaid, and press the greeting card right on top. You can see I already put in little dollops of each color of paint, about a quarter in size or even smaller is fine. And now I'm going to drop in my acorns. So I'm going to put in four acorns to start. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the Rubbermaid gently around so that the acorns touch the paint and then cover over onto the card. And you might have to give them a little push every so often. So I'm going to continue doing this and then we'll check back in to see how it turned out. Okay, I am all finished my acorn painting. It took me about two to three minutes to get this much color on my greeting card. However, if you want more color, you can keep rolling those acorns around a little longer. You will notice I did have to add a few more dollops of paint just to get enough paint on the front of my greeting card, and you might notice that you have to do that too. All right, so the last step is that you're going to want to take this out, and you'll cut off the pieces of tape that you had put on around the edges. And then once you do that, you're all ready to decorate the inside of your greeting card. So I'm just going to show you the one that I had shown you earlier. So we have our acorn painting on the outside, and then inside I decided to write a happy birthday message. Now earlier I also showed you a pennant banner that you can create from marble painting. If you decide to do this route instead, it's the same type of procedure. You would put each pennant in one at a time. Once you take it out, you can thread it on a piece of yarn, and then you can hang it up somewhere in your house. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed how your project turned out. Be sure to tune in again next week for more nature-inspired crafts. Bye!